Hey folks, this is Sean Bagshaw. Welcome to the second edition of my Developing for Extended Dynamic Range tutorial series. One of the things that keeps me excited about photography is the fun challenges it presents. One of the challenges is learning to understand how a camera sees and knowing how that is different from what we see, as well as where it exceeds our vision and where it falls short. Another challenge is learning to work with the raw materials the camera records to develop final images that meet our creative expectations. One of the ways that cameras are limited more than our vision involves being able to record a wide range of light values all at once. The dynamic range of cameras is improving all the time, but it still does not match what we can see. It's always disappointing when the camera can only produce photographs that look like this or like this, when the scene we experienced and hoped to photograph looked more like this. The intent of both the first edition and this second edition of the Developing for Extended Dynamic Range tutorial series is to present you with knowledge, tools, and techniques that will help you understand and identify high dynamic range light, make sure that you have captured the full range of light, and also how to work with the raw materials to develop final images with greater precision, control, and quality. While this updated version still covers the core concepts for developing high dynamic range images, it really is an entirely new video series. Topics include identifying and capturing high dynamic range light, raw adjustments and Photoshop adjustments for better tonal balance and single exposures, high dynamic range 32-bit processing, and an in-depth look at advanced exposure blending techniques in Photoshop using selections and masks. By request, I've added chapters on a variety of advanced exposure blending situations including water, forests, trees against the sky, and architectural interiors, to name just a few. I also make extensive use of Tony Kuiper's TK Actions panel, so you can see how I use luminosity selections and luminosity masks for tonal adjustments and complex exposure blending. All 35 chapters are newly recorded and produced. They're based in Lightroom 5 and Photoshop Creative Cloud 2014. Many of the techniques in these videos are advanced and assume a basic proficiency in Lightroom and Photoshop, including familiarity with the tools and menus, as well as how to generally work with layers, selections, and masks in Photoshop. Understanding and overcoming challenges in photography will allow you to create exciting and compelling images that communicate what you experience. High dynamic range light is one of the most common challenges outdoor photographers encounter, but it's also some of the most compelling and dramatic light. I hope that these videos will help you have more success in photographing and developing for extended dynamic range.